Outside the governor's mansion today, an angry protest over resistance to expanding legal rights for millions of undocumented immigrants who have children born in this country. It's a fight that's divided the country. It is the one-year anniversary of President Obama's executive action known as DAPA, which would protect undocumented from deportation if they've been in this country since 2010 and have children who are Americans. Governor Abbott and many other governors around the country have fought efforts to expand those privileges. The heartless person that lives right there, Governor Abbott, Ken Paxton, and 25 other xenophobic governors are stopping our families from applying for DACA expansion and DAPA. Supporters of DAPA, which means deferring any action against undocumented, would only be done on a case-by-case -case basis and with a thorough background screening. These protesters argue that by making things difficult for immigrants here illegally, it prevents them from coming out of the shadows and getting jobs out in the open. That's a big deal because we would have people actually working and then they would be paying their taxes and that's going to help our economy be stronger. If we have people getting pay under, under the table, they're not paying taxes. Governor Abbott and 25 other governors have challenged DAPA in court, contending it is unlawful and that the president just can't make up the laws he chooses. The president's action would defer possible deportation for up to 5 million aliens grant them work authorization, and allow them driver's licenses. And today's protest, the culmination of a three-day pilgrimage that began Thursday at the Hutto Immigrant Detention Facility.